the destination for tourists and the retired seeking a better lifestyle. But Florida has become an emblem of America's economic and social problems since the banking and housing crisis began three years ago there. Barack Obama had won convincingly there just a year earlier, but now he appears to have lost the confidence of even his most loyal supporters in the state. So it's become a crucial battleground for the Republicans contesting tonight's primary poll. Our Washington correspondent, Matt Fry, drove from Miami in the south of Florida to the city of Tampa on its west coast. Here's his report. Miami Beach at all, with a dose of reality. If there is a stretch of sand that typifies the American dream, even with waste management, it is surely this. Who hasn't yearned to put their feet up here? But these days, the dream is harder to find. Even the best metal detector won't do the trick. And that matters because Florida is a crucial battleground for the primaries and for the general election in November, a result shaped by the woes of a state that feels it's never had it so bad. Miami's high-rise condos are monuments to a burst property bubble. Almost half of Florida mortgages are underwater, and Joe is close to drowning. You didn't grow up in a place like this, did you? No, <laughs> not at all. <laughs> Joe bought this two-bedroom flat six years ago for half a million dollars after having made some money on his previous place. This is the dining room slash living room. Uh -huh. It is now worth less than 190000 and his salary as a UPS delivery driver barely covers the mortgage. What were you thinking? When people find out what I do, what's my profession, they're like, and you live in a place like this? So how painful would it be to leave this place? Very painful, very painful. You know, my daughter was born when I was here, you know, so yeah, this all she knows is just this place here. There are millions of Joes in Florida. The empty flats that he sees from his kitchen balcony are painful proof. And if you ever wonder why this election might be close, just listen to Joe. On paper, a typical Obama voter. So you'd vote for him again? Well, see, I can't answer that part there. You know what I'm saying? I can't answer that. But due to the fact I have to see who wins the Republican Party, who wins whoever's going to be the front man to run against them, then I'll be able to judge from there. A crisis of confidence in a president from a crash of confidence in the housing market. And now insult to injury. It is Latin American money bailing out the American dream. Miami's been unbelievable because we had this run up to 2007, prices were going up like this, and then it just fell off a cliff. And now with all these Brazilians and Latin Americans and worldwide buyers, they're driving the prices up again because there's a lot of demand. That was Miami. This is Homestead, pristine suburb turned ghost town an hour's drive away. The foreclosure rate here is one of the highest in the country. There are virtually no buyers, foreign or local, but there is this. Wales! Wow! I've never heard of anybody from Wales here. Glad you're here. Welcome. No, it's not Woody from Toy Story, but the MC at the local rodeo. Here we go. This event is an annual gathering of humanity, Florida style. The closest thing to politics in this rodeo was the would-be judge soliciting votes. Get your Homestead Rodeo T-shirt. But behind the jollity, these are fraught times defined by Homestead ill tempers. Rodeo T-shirts. Meet Doug and Keith, angry men who want politicians to feel their rage. We don't like lazy people. We don't like people that sit around and wait for a handout for the government, or ladies sitting at home spitting out babies into the foster care program, and then their daughters have babies and spit them into the foster care program. That's the biggest Ponzi scheme in America right now. I see our society, our government right now, going in the same direction that we rebelled from 200 years ago. I see another rebellion coming. He also fears nuclear Armageddon, just in time to spoil Christmas. One for the diary. On December 21st, yeah, right. 2012, and he's going to push the button. And of course, when one starts coming in, everybody else is going to fire one back. I've, I've told my wife, we've got a plan laid out. I told my wife, I said, anything happen? I says, take the dogs, take the guns, as much food as you can. I said, head for the Everglades. I said, I will find you. I will find you in the woods. We made our excuses and also headed that way, but without the dogs and guns. The Everglades, as flat as a pancake, and full of alligators and pythons. This is, without doubt, America's most treacherous mangrove swamp. And that involves the politics, too. If you want to win the White House, you have to win Florida. And that's tough, because Florida has a bit of everything. 
It's got retired people, it's got Latino minorities, it's got military bases, it's got a crashing housing market. But whoever conquers Florida has a good chance of conquering the White House. Think you know Mitt? Think again. Florida alone is as big as England and Wales. And Mitt Romney has outspent Newt Gingrich by five to one, mainly on attack ads. Gingrich exaggerates, dropping Reagan's name 50 times. On leadership and character, Gingrich is no Ronald Reagan. Money well spent when you consider that Mitt is crushing Newt in the polls. The other challenge here for any candidate is that it's diverse. How diverse? Come dancing with me in Tampa, strictly. One, two, three, five, six, very good. So the question I want to ask you, Amor. Yes. Newt and Gingrich <laughs> or Mitt Romney? <laughs> Mitt Romney. <laughs> I really feel that, that he can actually do some changes with society right now. Mm -hmm. um, I feel like his, his intentions are pure, his intentions are um, sincere, is my point. My intentions are also pure, I <laughs> promise you. <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> uh, disappointed with the uh, unemployment rate here in the, in the United States and everything. Uh, I saw a bumper sticker the other day, it says, uh, instead of it says Obama, it says no Obama. So, you like that bumper sticker? Uh, probably if I find it, I'll buy it. Florida politics is as slippery as their footwork is nimble. A microcosm of the whole USA. And the most glittering prize for anyone hoping to get to the White House or hoping just to stay there. Matt Fry, Channel 4 News, Florida.